Hi, this video is talking through the arrivals and departures reports. These are two reports that a lot of clerks use to kind of just center their day, get started, and check and see what's happening at the park. So the first place that you can see these is here on this dashboard. This dashboard is the homepage. I have a separate video um, if you want to go over all, all the different things we're seeing here, but we have a, an arrivals report and a departures report. Um, now you might be thinking, okay, great, but I have more than, you know, five people coming and going. And so we actually, I'm going to show you um, in just a moment how to pull up each of these reports to get a longer view, a printable view, a more customizable view. But if you just have a few arriving, maybe it's a slow season or off season, um, you'll be able to see those here on the homepage. We're looking at the guest name, the guest unit, the arrival, um, and then if they have checked in or not. So that will be helpful as you kind of go through your day, you'll be able to see who, who's checked in. So um, I'm going to jump over to the reports now so we can see these kind of zoomed in with more information. So uh, on the left hand menu, if you click on reports, this is where we're going to go. And then we have a lot of reports here. We have other resources. I'm going through more of the reports that we see, but I'm going to scroll down to the reservations section here. And then we have our arrivals and departures. So first I'm going to click on our arrivals. And then I'm gonna look and see what is arriving or who and how many are arriving today. So we can click on the date range and click run. And you could always, if you were curious what happened last week or what's gonna happen, you know, your up and coming Monday or up and coming Friday or Thursday, you can always change those dates. So um, here we have all of this information about our guests coming in. If you ever wanted to hide a column, maybe you don't really care about the number um, and you don't need their, to know you know the guest info and you just want to know who it is where they're staying how much money they have due um, and you want to print this then you can um, absolutely go ahead and do that we have a print icon this is going to save to a pdf um, and then other ways to export as well um, so all of our reports operate like this you can click this little eye, eye icon here and then you can hide different columns um, and so this is our arrivals report and I'm going to jump over to our departure report now. So I'll go back to reports and then scroll back down here and we have our departures and I just clicked on it and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on the date range, click today and then click run. Again, you could see um, if you wanted to do a different date range, you have that option as well. You can do more than one day too. You could use some pre-filled options here or click an entire um, group of days. So I just have one um, just for the sake of us being able to see they are not checked in. Um, there's no children or pets with them. And then uh, this is my dog. She did not provide us any RV info, um, but we do see the departure, the arrival, who's coming. And then you can also click on this and it's gonna open up the reservation for us in a new tab. So it's a very easy way to jump over. Maybe you keep your arrivals report open on a tab all day long or your departure report. And then um, that way you can just, when they come up to you to check in or check out, that's when you can click and open that reservation. So these are the arrivals and departures, just to sum everything up. You can also see those here on your dashboard. Um, but if you wanted a more in-depth way, an in-depth view of looking at them, you can click on your reports.